Hey guys, welcome. Uh, you've seen the announcement. You've hopefully read the article. Um, there's an article to the backstory in this description. But the exciting news is the biggest match in Australian arm wrestling history is finally set to happen. Um, I'm talking about, of course, Ryan the Milkman Scott up against Lachlan the Anvil of Dare. Um, long time coming. A lot of backstory, a lot of tension, real tension between these two. And um, it's taken a lot of work to get this match to actually happen. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to start this ball rolling with a little bit of a, a, a touch on the backstory, um, expanding on what I wrote in the article, um, but also give a little bit of my prediction. Um, naturally, people are asking me, who do I think is going to win? So I'm going to answer that for you. But first, the context of this is um, it's a really unique situation. Ryan Scott has been the number one ranked arm wrestler in Australia for uh, a fair amount of time now. He was the first man to beat the great Gunders Bikovs on the right arm. Um, he's the last man to beat Ben Carroll uh, in their most recent outing uh, on right. And um, he sits firmly as number one on the Australian arm wrestling rankings. Um, problem is... He hasn't faced Lachlan since March of 2019. And the evolution of Lachlan in that time has been very, very significant. Um, we, were, we were due to find out who was going to be the man at Arnold's this year. But COVID, of course, raised its ugly head and that is gone. Um, and no efforts at the time to try to get a super match to happen in place of that Arnold's tournament um, came to be. And uh, it was at that moment that the backstory really became interesting because, as I said, those two guys were meant to be in the same draw, um, the super heavyweight division of the Arnold's Classic. And um, when that tournament was cancelled, um, myself and a number of other uh, sponsors tried to um, scrounge together some super matches. We tried to make something possible. And one of them was Lachlan Adair against Ryan Scott as a possible match. But um, it didn't come about and it came... <laughs> and from that moment, the way it didn't come about ended up in an argument between Lachlan and Ryan. And that argument flared up pretty big. Um, it flared up to a significant point where these guys don't talk to each other. These guys don't um, really want to have time for each other. Um, it's interesting when you look at the way that the arm wrestling rankings um, sit. In an, like we said, in the official sense, Ryan is number one for sure. No one questions that. But in the official sense is one thing, but everyone also has an opinion. And this is where Lachlan has a bit of an edge on Ryan. Lachlan has been international. Where when, when Ryan won the Australian Championships in December last year, or sorry, in November of last year, uh, Lachlan was at the Zlotty Tour, so they didn't face at Nationals. Uh, Lachlan did well at the Zlotty Tour, impressed a lot of people in the 105 kilo division, and uh, has had an amazing year. You guys have been, uh, if you guys have been here on this channel, you've seen the evolution of Lachlan in the last 18 months. Um, Ryan, we don't know as much about. Ryan keeps to himself, he trains hard, he's consistent, um, always has been an amazing guy. Um, hand and wrist like iron a lot of side pressure up Andre Pushkar style arm wrestler um, so there's no doubting Ryan's caliber and there's we've seen the huge evolution of Lachlan uh, <laughs> and what makes this so special is the time between the last time they faced now of course Ryan Scott has actually beaten Lachlan on the right arm I think on two occasions quite convincingly this is Lachlan in his first couple of years trying to slip um, to get to the straps and Ryan just dealt with him Lachlan has beaten Ryan on the left hand I think every time he's faced but this match is about the right hand so we're going to see a different version of Lachlan in terms of intent I don't think you're going to see Lachlan running from Ryan in any way shape or form this version of Lachlan is going to be coming straight at Ryan and if anything I can imagine Ryan will be the one who starts to do a touch of running because he's not going to want to go straight side against the hand and wrist that will be coming at him this time around. I think we'll see a very different shape from last time. 
So, ultimately, what's my prediction on this match? For me, it's the Anvil. Uh, and no disrespect to Ryan. He truly is a an amazing caliber arm wrestler. But for me, the reason I have my money on the Anvil is I've been... I've witnessed this man train over the last 18 months. Since March 2019, when they last faced, Lachlan is an absolutely different man. Um, I mean, you guys have seen it. I don't think anyone, anyone in Australia could claim that they've outworked Lachlan Adair in this last 18 months. Uh, He was guided by Giannis Amelins. He has done a full year and a half of guidance under Giannis Amelins. And... uh, if you've ever done one of Lachlan's programs, you'll realize very quickly how hard he works. These sessions go for two hours, arm wrestling specific, and uh, his table IQ is going through the roof um, as well. So for me, I can't possibly vote against Lachlan. Uh, it, it's, just, it's just too crazy for me to do that. Um, is it possible Ryan Scott wins? For sure. He's a bad dude with a lot of side pressure, and he's fast for a big guy, which I guess traditionally is a vulnerability of Lachlan's fast side pressure. But, end of the day, it's going to be an amazing match. March 2021, we've got the Australian Arm Wrestling Federation, we've got Stronghold Pandurit, and we've got Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling all behind these, these. so there's no doubt going to be some prize money on the table for these gentlemen. And not only that, some serious pride and some serious bragging rights, um, and ultimately the ability to officially say you're the number one in Australia. Guys, it's going to be March 2021. Specific dates will come out. Follow Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling, and you'll see those dates announced. But, man, I can't wait. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win.